All right, so this is the status group of front bumper, and I'm gonna just compare it quickly to the OEM front bumper. So this is a full, um, it's not a full carbon fiber bumper, it is a fiberglass bumper, as you can tell from the sound. Uh, so the key differences are the front lip, which I do like this style of front lip over the OEM one. I don't know, I just like the one piece. Slightly better than the two piece on the OEM. So that's one piece I really do like about the design on this bumper, but everything else is far as, it's not as good. So one thing right here, it doesn't have the mounting points to slide in the brackets that the OEM bumper has. Um, this lip right here is really thick. And then you do have to modify a lot on this front bumper to get it to fit. So I did do a lot of those modifications already. Another thing on this bumper, is that it does not have the tow hook cover right here. So you're not able to have a tow hook on the front of the car. And that was kind of a big deal since I do track the car and I like having tow hooks available if anything ever goes bad so that they can pull the car on the tow hook instead of the control arms. So yeah, so that's kind of the overview of this bumper. Um, I'll Way this bumper already weighed the OEM. The OEM is already on the car, and the OEM is weighed with the paint on it. And then this one will be with no paint. And I'll put in the weights of this compared to the OEM CSL bumper in the next scene, and we can go back to the install of the OEM front bumper. getting ready to install the front bumper but what we have to do is remove this carbon kevlar uh, car structure support and also there's a few bits we have to remove from it uh, while we're removing it from the car so actually there's a different uh, tank reservoir tank but um, so we have to install this onto the other bumper but I have a different one that goes for the CSO front bumper and I'll leave the part numbers for all um, the parts required to swap from the facelift model to the uh, CSL front bumper. I'll leave all those part parts in the description below so you guys can buy it if you guys are doing this. And another thing we're going to have to do is swap these horns over. So we have to undo these tabs, put them onto the other front bumper, and then uh, we're good to go. Everything else is pretty much staying on the car. And since we have a lot of new parts, a lot of the stuff that is on the car is going to be taken off and not put back on. First steps first, we're going to take the tank off so we can uh, take the crash uh, support off as well. Um, there's a few things you have to do. You have to disconnect uh, two connectors or three depending if you have the nozzles. And then to get to the top ones, I think I'm going to undo these bolts and then I'll have an easier time getting to the hoses because there's not a lot of space for my big hands to uh, get in here. Uh, so I'm going to empty this reservoir completely. Then I'm going to take off the two top hoses and the two uh, screws and um, that way we can properly take it off because we have to take off some of the components on here anyway to install the other um, reservoir. So let me just uh, empty this and then we'll get right back to it. These are the two connectors you disconnect from this reservoir. Um, there's this one. This one is not really connected into anything. It is just like plugged into the back in here into a dummy connector type um, thing. So one of these goes into the pump. And the other one is connected into the uh, reservoir on the other side. And now that both of these connectors are off, just take the cable out and undo it from the reservoir. We're going to undo the top two screws right here. 
we're gonna undo this screw and that screw. And now that the whole uh, reservoir is drained, we can just take it off. And this is the hose I was talking about. This is the hose you have to take off, as well as this white big hose. And then this can completely come off. Um, they're a little tight, so it does take some effort to get off. But I've done it before, and it's not too bad. So the reservoir is all off. And this is the facelifted reservoir, so it's not needed anymore. So we're going to toss this to the side. And now we're getting to, to the front uh, brace or strut bar. And what we have to do is undo three bolts right here. So one, two, three. I believe, yep. So we're going to do undo those three bolts right here. So on this side. We're, we're going to take the uh, strap bar off. We're going to undo the horns on this side as well. And once it comes off, we'll get access to them right here. We'll be able to get the, to the connectors, take it off. And then we will install the new um, strap bar and then we can install the front bumper. Alright, now we're looking at the parts that are going to be installed onto the car with the new front bumper, the new reservoir, the new crash supports, or the mounting points for the front bumper. That's the grill that goes here on the intake duct that's on the CSL hole. And this will wrap around one of these on the driver's side and pull air from right here so it'll be pulling air on the side these are all the parts and then you have the two bolts right here that fasten the bumper to the support Okay, and there we have it. So we slipped on the valve. It is a lot thicker on this portion right here, so we're gonna see how that's gonna fit. And now we're gonna just transfer over some of the other hardware and then we can install this onto the front bumper. So now we are about to start prepping the front bumper and the first thing we wanna do is get this molding installed on the edge right here. So we are finally ready to install the front bumper. So what we've done to the bumper is prep it for installation and we've installed the horns and they go on this side. I've seen some people drilling and putting them in on the driver's side where the where they are on the facelift models but you can extend the cable as you can see right here. The yellow cable, the yellow and black one. The connectors come to the passenger side so we can uh, plug it in on the OEM location where the horns used to be and then we have the new reservoir as well it all gets mounted onto the front bumper and then mounted the air duct that goes right there with the little kidney grill the next thing we have to do is just place the bumper onto the supports and then slide it in and then we are ready to just plug in all the connectors afterwards um, so all the fender liners on both sides and we can lower the car. I'm going to also clean the engine bay because it's pretty dirty from the paint shop.
Okay guys, so here we have it. This is the completed E46 M3 project car. And what we have here is the OEM CSL front uh, bumper. And as you can see, the fitment is impeccable. Um, you can kind of, like right here, you can just kind of tell like, it was such an easy going, easy process to install this whole front bumper. Um, there were a few minor modifications we had to do, which was uh, the carbon fiber pieces did not have all the holes, which is kind of funny. Um, they didn't all have all the holes to fit uh, directly on, so we had to drill open some of the holes because they weren't perfectly aligned. But that's also due to like you know, fully custom uh, bumper from BMW OEM, and the canards are also OEM BMW. But I, I don't know what went wrong there, but we had to drill them open a little bit. To get them to align perfectly and to get, be able to use the clips to attach the front uh, canards even on this side as you can see fitment is great fitment across underneath underneath the hood and the lights is perfect as well using all oem bmw parts it fits uh great the only thing that kind of sucks is right here the um tail hook cover did not fit perfectly so I'm gonna have to work on that and get that to fit properly but um, basically there's a little tab on the top I don't know if you can kind of tell them to try to zoom in right there on the top end there's a, a little slit cutout that does not fit the OEM cover which I got with the bumper but it doesn't fit perfectly and this is a full carbon fiber um, bumper so I can see that there are some tolerances that can't be hit properly so that's probably why it doesn't fit but other than that everything was perfect um, so yeah this is the front bumper video we finished that and I love this front bumper it's the best looking front end for this E46 and the OEM bumper just looks so much better than um, the other aftermarket bumpers it fits perfectly and it has a slight different look to it